Hey guys, and here's a little tutorial video on XPatter um, that will allow you to play with your Xbox 360 remote on PC games. Now, if you just type this into the web, web browser and download it, it's real easy. And um, once you download it, this is like a big problem a lot of people has. You have to go to properties, um, and then go to com oh, oops, go to complexity and check that once you check that you can um, go into the program and just make sure you do that All right. but w once you get this down it's it's pretty easy, easy you have to have your Xbox 360 controller plugged in I have mine plugged in right now in my hand and what you need to do first is uh, pull out an image now you can probably find this on Google that's what I did just do an Xbox 360 controller Okay, now you have your image. And what you want to do, you want to do to go to sticks, push enable. This is your left stick, so you put it right there. You on your Xbox controller, you do left, then up, and then it and then it reads it right there. So you want to go to stick number two, push enable once again, and go to the lower stick, left, up. So then your sticks are done. You go to D-pad, do the same thing. You put it where your D-pad is. Up, down, left, right, and it reads it. You go to buttons. Now what you need to do is, uh, like for example, I, I have my controller in my hand. I need to click A for the A button to come up, and there's the A button. You slide this over on the A. There you go, and the same thing with B, same thing with X, same thing with Y, and basically same thing with everything besides this big X button, you cannot get that, to, at least I haven't, and if you could, you, that's pretty cool. Right. Same thing with the back button, and it just goes right on it, right? That. Just finish these up really quick. Alright, all the buttons are done. And now you want to go to triggers, enable, and once, it did, once again, well, actually, these will automatically basically place. You just have to adjust them a little bit. Now, left, right, now everything is like red and configured. Go to finish, close. Now, um, well, I already did it, and um, that's what mine looks like. But once you did what I just did, yours will look like this. And f depending on the type of game you want to do, like let's say Modern Warfare 2 or something, um, you would wanna you would want it go to options on Modern Warfare 2 look at the key bindings for each move and put them put them where it goes like for example crouch is C so now the B is crouch just like on Xbox 360 and then you just configure everything else like it would be to your game that you want to play or in this case Modern Warfare 2 and yeah hope you guys uh, like this video please comment rate and subscribe See you guys later.